So I am running Debian Bullseye on this computer. And Debian recently came up with another distribution, another version. Um, see, Bullseye was 11, Bookworm is 12. So I haven't upgraded to 12 yet, but I'm going to stick with Bullseye for now. But what I do want to do is install VirtualBox. Now, VirtualBox is um, not a GNU licensed software. So I got to jump through some hoops to get it. And I could do a couple of different things. Debian offers a whole bunch of suggestions here. So pretty much most distributions are going to have lots of great help utilities online. So let's see. I recently did an apt update to make sure my software is up to date. Let's see a little bit of this in chapter one of your book. See, I'm all up to date here. And I tried to do an install. And there are graphical user interfaces for playing around with packages. And I've just gotten used to the command line. I like it better. Um, and sometimes I'm not sure what I'm looking for. So I'll do like an app search. Or I'll just go to the Debian website and search around for packages that I might need. Uh, VirtualBox. Get a bunch of options. Virtualization stuff. And you can see there are plenty of packages, but none of them were called VirtualBox. And in the Debian uh, wiki on this, they say that uh, we have to get another repository. So repository is is a, a location online where you you pull packages for your machine. So if we take a look at what I'm using right now. ETC is where a lot of configuration files live. So if we do an LS, that's list. So list stuff in ETC, I can see all the different kinds of configuration stuff that lives in there. And there's a lot, and I'm interested in apt, right? So up arrow to get that command back. And then if I type apt tab, right, tab completes nice. Uh, enter to list what's in there, up arrow to get the command back. And there's a sources list file on a sources list directory. So if I start typing sources, right, tab complete is a powerful ally. And then uh, ls on that will just say, hey, there it is. If you want to look inside it, you need something like uh, less or more or cat. And there's a ton of other uh, file viewers on the command line. We can see the pounds are commented out, right? I started with a CD to do the install and I'm uh, grabbing uh, bullseye packages from uh, Oregon State University. Security is from Debian Security. Um, do I have backports on here? Let's see, it mentions his backports in a comment, but it's not. Okay, so I need I need backports, I think. If we look in the directory, oops. Oh, it's not less. Uh, I have a, a a listing for pulling packages for Chrome and Microsoft VS Code, but I don't have backports. And here they're telling me I need fast track. And if you go to the fast track website. Fast track is going to tell you that you need backports. So turns out further down this page, they had information about that right here. Let's blow this sucker up a little bit. All right. So I do have LSB release. So I'm going to copy that line. And when you paste into a terminal, uh, control C has another function. So you got to do control shift. C and V, so V for paste. And then let's see, I got an extra line there, an extra line here, and that command should run. So the pipe is a redirection. So it's going to, oops, echo is just going to send whatever's in quotes over to T. And T is going to update this file with whatever I, whatever we echoed into it. 
And so it just echoed in that line. Now, if I go back and look at the sources list directory, I should see that there's a new thing there for backports. And if we did a less on backports, then we should see it's got that line in it now. Cool. <clears throat> and then from there, we need uh, the key ring. So the key ring is a public key encryption to just shake hands and say, yep, I'm legit. So we get their public key and, and this goes in, and shakes hands with their private key. So you definitely want that. Otherwise the software will not download shit for you. Oops. Ooh. I did a control V by mistake there. Got some weird shit. And is that right? Got an extra character at the end. Everything matters. All right, so it's going to download the key ring and install it. Boom, 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 boom. All right. And then these have to be done one at a time. Control C to copy, Control Shift V to paste. And then we have a line break that might mess stuff up. Fix that. And then we want this one too. Copy, control shift B to paste, fix any weird stuff. And if you're not sure it's weird, just run it and you get errors if it's weird. All right. And then we should just do another update, Barrow to get a previous command. Somewhere here, add an update. There we are. So, what that's going to do is it's going to look and see, oh, there's new package repositories. Let's go see what they have. And all that's going to do is grab just a, a little database of what's available. And then I should be able to install VirtualBox. Um, and I think I do want the extension pack too. So I'm going to grab that command there. So a lot of um, working oops, shift V in the command line is typing stuff you remember or looking up commands and copying and pasting them do what you want. All right. Um, got some stuff I'm not using anymore. All right, so they're suggesting VDE2 VirtualBox guest editions ISO. I don't think I need the guest editions. I'm not sure about VDE2. So whenever I'm not sure, I just say no. And then uh, if you want to learn about a package, it's apt show and then type the name of the package. So for example, I could highlight that and then plop it down there. Oops. Let's work that way here. Show it's short enough, VDE2. All right, oops, extra slash. virtual switch that can connect multiple virtual machines together. Cool. Well, I don't think I need it, but let's get it now too. So if you find that something suggested is necessary, then just add it in to the list. And sometimes you'll get new suggestions. Look at this. Uh, and again, if you want to look them up, highlight them, control shift copy, control shift V to paste. And I don't want to do anything else. I'm just going to go yes and install that. Hopefully it goes smooth. Sometimes it does. Mostly it does. Okay, what do we got? Oracle wants us to accept their license. Sure. Thanks, Oracle tab to get to the okay, enter to accept it, tab to say yes. And hopefully VirtualBox installs. Now caveat here, I have not downloaded any disk images to install a new operating system in VirtualBox. So that would have to be done next. Um, and in my previous update, I got a new kernel. And the kernel is like the base of the whole operating system. It is Linux itself. 
So it's likely possible I'll have to reboot. But it turns out in installations in Linux, unlike Windows, rebooting is rarely necessary. Which is a good thing because Linux is used for a lot of servers and servers are often used for web stuff. And if people are actively using it, then you don't want to shut down their server. Unless you have a backup, which you should, if it's an important money-making thing. All right, looks like it all ran okay, cool. So let's see. Uh, I'm using um, the GNOME uh, desktop here and a push to the upper corner gives you open software and a search for new stuff. Oops, it's virtual box there yet. Yeah, there's virtual box, holy shit, it ran on the first try. Uh, on my office computer, I had to do a little fiddling to get it to run. It took a few tries for me to install it. Cool. Um, so then from here, uh, you would just go new and then grab the distribution you want. So let's see, uh, I'm going to at least get this started and continue this later. Uh, I wanted to check out Rocky Linux, which I have not used yet. And it is based on Red Hat, which is pretty different Linux. Well, it's, it's Linux it uses the same core, but, um, its package management system is is different from Debian and has some other differences in terms of the way it's it's uh, configured, where files live, stuff like that. <clears throat> so there's like two big groups in Debian. There's uh, in Linux. There's the Debian camp. There's a bunch of distributions based on Debian, like Ubuntu, and there's the Red Hat camp. Um, and then there's some other ones out there like SUS. Um, and then there's the whole BSD group, which is an, another thing. And there's OpenBSD and NetBSD, um, and they're they're pretty different animals also, uh, but they're all Unix-like systems. Um, anyway, for this class, you should have a couple of Linuxes. So I'd recommend a Debian version, like Debian itself, or Ubuntu, and then a um, Red Hat thing, like Red Hat Enterprise, or Fedora, or Rocky, and there's a ton of other ones out there. So I'm going to go for Rocky here and I'm going to download the latest Rocky and I'm going to go for the big boss DVD here. Sure. Let's put it in my CS140 repository or directory. And that's going to take a while to download. That's a big ass file. Um, and then once I have that, I can use it to uh, install a version of uh, Red Hat Linux as Rocky uh, that I can run within my Debian Linux rather than having to partition my hard drive and mess around with that or add another hard drive for it. Um, cool. All right. That's it for now. Take care. Do good computing. See you later.